This page is working just fine. I display data from the database. I like it. However, as this website start growing, in other words, as I start having more and more pages right here, I will have the need to be coding this part of this file over and over again. Every page where I need data from the database, I need another connection string, I need another SQL command and a reader. So it's very easy for us to see that if we create a class for this code, then we can just call the class whenever we need it. So let's do that. I'm going to right click and add ASP folder and I'm going to click on app code. Inside the app code, I'm going to right click and add a class and I'm going to name this class DB Master. So add and it's very very important for you to right click on the file and then go to properties and then right here it says build action we want this to compile very very important so now let's create a function right here that returns a SQL connection and now we need to fix the using right here when I click on using system data SQL client and if you notice it insert this for us go to the index page and I'm gonna copy this three lines and I'm gonna paste right here on this function and then I'm gonna return con so this function here returns a connection to the database that's how it does now I'm going to remove the SQL connection from here and I'm going to put it outside. Later we're going to see why. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to move it outside. And next I'm going to create another function that returns a SQL data reader. Data reader, SQL reader, get reader. And as a parameter for this function, I want to have a string query. And we're going to see why pretty soon. Now, let's go back to the index page and copy the second part of this code. I want to copy all of this and paste right here. And now I want to return the reader. Now the reason that we're passing this as a parameter is that I want this command to be different every time I call. So instead of having a preset query, I'm going to use the query that comes from the parameter, from the caller. Delete line 28. and the connection is this connection right here so now this function can see the connection being created from this function and then the last thing I need is something to close the connection so public voids close connection So it's a very good habit to check if the connection is closed or not. So let's do that. So this statement here is basically saying if the connection is not null, 
and if the connection state equals state open then close now this is a very simple class you can't make it a little stronger a little bit better but this is for learning purpose only so this is good enough so now instead of you writing this code here let's take advantage of the new class we created so DB so DB master so you can't see the DB master at this point so let's see the list of available fix and if we include if you start using the app code folder then you can see it so notice that you add line number three when I did the fix so equals new DB master and now I want a reader so my SQL reader equals DB master dot get reader and as a parameter I'm gonna pass this select statement and then I have a reader so that means this can be deleted and then these lines can also be deleted and instead of doing connection dot close we're gonna call the function from the DB master so this DB master dot close connection and we are done so the whole point of moving your database code to a different file is that your page now is a lot simpler a lot cleaner and also this class can be called as many times as you want throughout your entire program saving a lot of code and a lot of headache so let's run this program oh that's not very good so there's an error connection property has not been initialized so let's go to the DB master and here is the one to blame it's not con it's get connection so the reason it was a problem is because this function here was not being called and because it's not being called then the connection is not open yet so instead of using the connection we need to actually call the function now one question you might be asking is why did I make it two function instead of one function only well it's very simple from this case we only have a get reader but there might be a case where we're gonna have a get writer function and the writer function we will use um, a connection so that's the reason so now that that I change line 26 let's run again and see how it works yep sure enough it works just fine the whole purpose of creating a class for your database connection and reader is that you can reuse this code as many times as you want and also it makes your page a lot easier thanks for watching this is easy and yes you can do it